The Texans are playing real football, regular season football. So it's time to talk with the man in charge, under center, Davis Mills. It's great to be with you again. And we did this about a year ago. One thing I've always noticed about you, supremely confident. Doesn't matter what's going on around you, calm, calm, and confident. How much more confident are you now, though, versus this time a year ago? I mean, I don't think the, the confidence level has changed much. I think the comfortability of being out there and being in control of everything is what has changed. Um, building that experience from last year and going out there and really putting that successful stint together at the end of the year. Obviously, the outcome of it, each game wasn't what we wanted, but um, I felt like I was going out there and playing good football, protecting the football. And I think the biggest thing this year is just carrying on that momentum from last year and what we've put together all off season and throughout camp. So. I think the comfort level and just being in control of everything is the biggest thing that I've noticed. That's a good distinction you make, com comfort versus confidence. So with the comfort idea in line, how much more comfortable did it make it for you being involved in February and March and April in helping install this offense with Pep Hamilton? Because it's a different offense than what you were doing last year. And how much did that help with what you're doing and what you're seeing right now? Yeah, I mean, it's been great having a whole off, se off season to learn it. Obviously, last year you get... You get drafted and you only have like a weekend throughout uh, OTAs and then uh, in camp. So um, having a full off season to prepare and even what Pep's done is similar to what I ran in college. So some of the verbiage and carryover of some of the scheme um, is similar. So I already have a little bit of um, idea of coming into it of what it's been like. So, I mean, we're really excited. I feel like the whole team's really bought into what we're c capable of on offense. And I mean, everyone's really excited to go out there and put up some points and see what we can do on Sunday. Yeah, and how much does that excitement level raise after seeing what you're able to do in the preseason without your whole offensive line, without Brandon Cooks and Farrell Brown? Everybody's back and everybody's ready to go. And on top of all that, the playbook opens up a little bit even more, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're probably most excited for. Um, obviously, the stuff um, in preseason is a little vanilla. They're not trying to show too much because people are watching film and game planning against you, so you can't tip your hand too early, but... Um, I think everyone's really excited what we're able to do this year. And I mean, we're ready to just go out there and play fast. You got bonds with all your receivers. There's been growth with all your pass catchers and whatnot. But what's the bond like with Brandon Cooks? You were both named on Wednesday captains for the offense. What's it like throwing the ball to him and just being a teammate of his and what he means to you? Brandon's been great. Um, obviously, same type of energy each and every day. He's coming in ready to get to work and lead those guys around him. Um, and I try to do the same, but. I mean, when you know you have Brandon out on the edge going against somebody, um, I mean, I don't know. I for sure couldn't cover him, and I know all, pretty much all the DBs across the league can't cover him either. So when you have somebody like that on your side, it's awesome. The guy just cranks out 1,000-yard receiving seasons, and he's been doing it for a while. A guy who's new to the league is Damian Pierce. What could a run game with that guy do for you, do for this offense, do for this whole team? He can do a lot. Um, I think when we can establish a really strong run game, it can change the momentum of everything. Um, I think the, the best game we ran the football last year was the Chargers game. And um, at the time last year, they were a playoff team. And mm -hmm. um, that game, we moved the ball very efficiently. And I think Rex ran for 150. So um, when we can do that and establish a run game, it opens up everything across the board um, on the offense. So we're really excited to see what he can contribute and do out there. All right, Texans want to be a tough team. They want to be a rugged team. They want to be able to run the ball like all teams in the NFL. To do that on Sunday, going to go against some of the best interior defensive linemen you're going to face all season long. How tough are they? How, how much of a challenge are those guys in the middle in DeForest Buckner and in Grover Stewart? They're, I mean, great players. Obviously, we got to respect them a ton, but... I think we're really capable on offense of handling them. Our offensive line right now has done an amazing job all camp and throughout the preseason. I mean, I think our guys can line up against anybody and we can be confident. So if we can run the football well on Sunday, I think we got a really good chance. Difference makers in the linebacking core and Shaquille Leonard, Darius Leonard is, is his former name. You also got Stephon Gilmore, one of the best to ever play at corner. There's a lot of pieces on that defense for the Colts, but it's like you guys are saying, got to do our job basically, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you got a game plan and know who you're playing against to some extent, but when it boils down to it, it's about what we do on offense and how, how well we execute. And I mean, that's what's going to go out and win games. All right, we started this uh, interview talking about your confidence. When game time rolls around, however, will there be just a little bit of a butterfly, a little flutter here and there? Um, yes, I've never been one to get super nervous, but I mean, I think when you 
um, get those butterflies before the game. You have to, or else it doesn't mean anything to you. So um, there'll be a little bit of jitters, but once we get a couple plays into it, it'll be smooth sailing and we'll be ready to go. All right, Davis Mills, best of luck. Show up, show out for H-Town and beyond. Can't wait to see you out there in just a bit. For sure. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.